G'day, John Canny here. Well, this is the final uh, in this short series on the 5,000 kilometre trip in the brand new Grenadier. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and, and thanks to those who've subscribed. Uh, subscribing really helps with the distribution. That's what it does for me and uh, lets me know that people are interested enough to watch. So if you haven't subscribed and you, you feel like it, that'd be great. Uh, this episode, as I said, is the final. There'll be uh, some uh, follow-up episodes uh, with uh, a summary of, of what I think was good and bad about this, this vehicle. And there were, there were things on both sides, uh, good and bad. So we'll talk about those separately. Sorry this uh, video's been a bit late coming out, but I've been away again on a, a, another short trip, uh, this time with, uh, with the family. So <laughs> might see some interesting things coming up from that one as well. Okay. Uh, just to mention, in, later in this episode, uh, I'm brought to tears over, over an issue, uh, so you'll find out what that's about uh, if you watch the whole episode. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we found our camping spot. Here we are tonight, by the Smithburn River, according to Leo. Smithburn, but I think he's correct. I think that's what he said before. We can get down to it over there, and there seems to be plenty of fish swimming in there but at the moment it's bloody hot and I tell you I'm ready for a beer what about you mate Definitely. let's get those chairs out get a couple of coldies out because uh, I reckon it must be about 35 36 degrees yeah, definitely. and an hour or so we'll go down there throw in a, a lure and see if we can get another barra because tonight we'll be cooking the one I caught I caught last night I'm catching tonight. Maybe it's a duck. Just looking here in the river and oh, see, uh, see these marks up here. What? See these marks here. Yeah. There's like foot marks each side of them. Yeah. Crocodile. Come out of the water there. You can see the tracks. But they've come right up here. Well, yeah, it can. Is that, is that like a foot, little foot? Yeah. Boots on either side? Yep. That's a crop all the yeah, way up. Yeah, all here. the way up there. He's gone. Yeah. Right up. Let us. That's it. Off you go. No. Right, you, can, you can hang around, we're not going to hurt you. Just, you don't want to hurt us, that's all. Plenty of fish in there, Lee. I can see them. Look at them. You can see the fish down there. Nice barra. Beautiful barra. Well, that was hard work. I've just finished scaling, gutting, and producing. 10 beautiful barramundi cutlets for dinner for the next three nights so we'll be eating fish for the next few nights which is <laughs> going to be beautiful okay so i found a problem my connecting piece which is uh, here has caught on something and ripped the anderson plug off the end so I've got to now improvise. I've got a few spares here, so I've got another Anderson plug connected to something else, which I'll cut off and uh, just uh, solder back on here, tape it up, and we'll get back in action. But this is what powers this is what powers my van. Well, morning again, and uh, we've certainly enjoyed this camp spot here. So we're just topping up with a second jerry can of diesel. So that's. 40 litres I've had to put in, so 130 litre tank would have been good. So we've been travelling now for a little while on some sealed road and we've decided just to maintain our speed of 
80 kilometers an hour. So currently we're showing that we're using 14.8 litres of fuel per 100. Rumba! See if we can get a go. See if we get a coffee over here. Yeah, no, Fresh. I, I wouldn't mind. Um, busy, busy place. Karumba. Want to get some uh, tourist trash? It's here. Not a bad spot to uh, sit and do a bit of fishing here. Big day, big day tomorrow. We're heading down to Julia Creek by the back road. Normanton. say about 800 of that have been on really rough uh, corrugated roads. We're now on this track, we're heading down to Julia Creek and it's you know, an un unsealed road, a track through the bush here but it's in really good condition. It's obviously been, uh, been graded not so long ago. But the point is, there's not one rattle in this car. It's a quiet in this car. It's uh, I'll just give you a look at the road that we're on. This is pretty good road. But, you know, it's it's not perfect either. You see we come up here to a, you know, this big uh, floodway dip. Whoa. And over a cattle grid. This, this road's not too bad here, but you'll notice I'm not needing to adjust the steering at all. It's just travelling along perfectly stable, even though it's a bit of a track, but I'm not having to do this all the time. In fact, if I do that, the car's all over the place. Just hold the steering, well, like, there she goes without her hands off. The car is just tracking no hands on the steering wheel at the moment. So, uh, all those thoughts about the car wandering all over the road, I'm not finding that with mine. Morning, bright and early. It's a cold night last night. The sun is rising. It's going to be another beautiful day. It's a little bit chilly this morning, that's for sure. But uh, beautiful morning. Sitting here, there's not a soul around. The sun just, just come up, it's about oh, it's seven o'clock. Got the billy on, fire, camping out in the bush. It was pretty cold last night, that's why I'm all rugged up, but uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day. You can't beat this. 
miles from anywhere, nobody around. No noises except for those from the animals. Anyway, the bill is about done, so let's make some coffee. Okay, we're in Julia Creek. Sunday morning. Nothing open except this little shop here. So the town's pretty quiet. We're at the uh, Blue Hill Hotel <laughs> at Cuyuna. So we're going to go and see if we can get a beer. It's a nice pub, isn't it? Schooner. No, 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 oh, it's no. cheaper than the Doonan. Seven dollars for a beer. Yeah. Here we are by the mighty Dimatina River. Thought we might stop here. Maybe throw a line in. Maybe catch another fish. Trouble is, you need water, and there's not a drop of water in the river. It's completely dry. That is the Dimatina River. The mighty. The mighty down the river. I'll, yeah, I'll just yeah. talk to you. But yeah. I want to I want to talk about a couple of negatives though. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You're being very positive. Yeah, here. yeah. The negatives are there's not enough storage room in these in the doors. Mm. Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah. There, look. Well, okay, my. That, you know, I'm sitting over that's there, right. And there's nothing there that you can sort of put in there. Yeah. Like if you're driving along, if you want a drink or something, we do have water bottles. So what was your first name? David. David. So David's ordered one. He doesn't want to be on YouTube, but he's ordered one. We're at Long Reach at the. Uh, Hall of Fame, uh, Stockman's Hall of Fame. Yeah, look, okay, the, the, you're right. There's a couple of niggly things like that, but I don't think they're hardly worth mentioning. It needs to be more storage space. I, I saw someone posted a comment about the ignition key. There's no light around the ignition key, and you can't find the hole half the time yeah, in there. Someone said that, yeah, yeah um, what else? The fuel gauge and fuel measuring system, something's wrong. There's something definitely wrong there. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to sort that out. So don't trust that totally. What other negatives have you got? That's about it. That's it. The fuel, the fuel gauge thing is, a, is an issue though. Yeah. For us. Yep. It doesn't register properly. Oh, well, there, there's three systems of... Uh, there's three systems of the fuel gauge. One is it will tell you percentage of fuel left. left. There's the actual gauge itself. And then there's kilometres remaining. None of them add up. They no. all they all would give you a different figure, in my opinion, in this car. So, um, but you know, I, I'm sure that we can work that that out. But look, it it hasn't missed anything, has it, Leo? No, that's fine. It, it's just, and we've given it. A, I haven't I haven't tried out the four wheel driving over that sort of stuff because you know we're in Queensland. It's flat. Mm. It's dry. You know, we had a river crossing, we went through the water, but I haven't needed to use any of the gear that's on this car, but um, uh, it's, it's, 
you know, we have rattled the daylights out of this thing and nothing's fallen off, nothing's come loose. Um, it's, I'm really happy with it. What colour did you order? The white. Yeah, beautiful. It is beautiful colour, that white. It's not really white, you know. No. It's a beautiful colour. Yeah. Well, here we are near Ice's Ford. Um, been on uh, sealed roads for a little while now. Very pleasant driving on sealed roads, not complaining. We've done a lot of off-roading and uh, well, unsealed roads and badly corrugated roads, so not too bad to be on the sealed roads for a while. But uh, finish up here, pack up, and uh, get going again shortly. This road has basically been straight for bloody miles, just dead straight. We're heading to Isis, Isis Ford. Oh, you don't even know it's there. You had a Ranger before that. Yeah. Look, the Ranger towed pretty well as, as well. What motor did you have in the Ranger? 3.2. Five yeah, five, it, cylinder, five right? cylinder, yeah. 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 And the, the auto works good? Oh, transmission's sensational. I'm going to drive one next week. When I get home, the, the dealer told me they've got the demo there. Yeah, you'll enjoy it. So I want to have a, have a drive. Yeah. No, it tows, tows well. It drives on the highway it's like a car. And and the um, cruise nice? Yeah, cruise nice. I mean, it's not a... Uh, cruise control, it's not... I don't want... Not automatic. one of those automatic things. Yeah, so do I. Hate them to death. So do I. They're putting them on the motorbike now. Oh, goodness, are they? kidding me. <laughs> that thing's... You know, the new model of those has got that interactive cruise control. Oh. And what about the camera off centers of that thing they talked about? Yeah, it? It yeah, it is... It is off centre. Um, and it, it is a bit... bit Disconcerting, I must yeah. admit. Yeah, that would annoy me. It, it annoys me a bit too. Going into the car and I'm going to try the back area, but this road is probably been as bad as it gets for corrugations. You'd have to say we've given this car the corrugation test anyway. You bloody rough. The antenna's moving. Okay, so we've taken a little track off the side here. What are day for it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Where are you taking them? Oh we're just going to take them up um, to a camp draft. Oh, oh right huh? Bit of camp yeah. drafting. Fantastic. <laughs> so. We just take it easy, move through. Yeah, just take on through. Thank you.
a warning coming up telling me uh, add blue reserve. So we filled up with that blue. I added 10 litres and it said 100% when we left. Now that would mean that I've done about 4,200 and it's kilometres and it's telling me that I need to add 12 litres of add blue. Now that's not in line with, with what I was led to believe that a tank of add blue. Uh, so we've got 17 litres in there all together. So there's five litres left. But I would be expecting to get 10,000 out of that. So interesting. Add blue using more than I thought. Maybe it's because it's new, a new engine. Don't know. Well, today's the last uh, morning of our trip and it's been a wonderful trip. I've enjoyed the company of my good friend Leo. We've been friends since I was 15, amazingly. I'm feeling a little bit emotional at the moment. I don't know whether it's the environment, which is absolutely magnificent. I'm so privileged to be here. Don't know why I feel emotional. So lucky, beautiful wife, beautiful family, beautiful home. I'm going home to face the issue with my dog Archie, my German Shepherd. Gonna have to put him down. Got degenerative myelopathy. Soon won't be able to walk. Been my friend for a long time. Anyway. with a bush sometimes good to let your emotions out <sighs> try to be a big tough man most of the time I sometimes just got to give in let them out. Anyway. Anyway. I don't know. Sometimes you just got to give in to these emotions. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to feel a bit emotional. Thanks for watching. Sorry, you got a bit of a sad bit here. Take a video? Yeah, mate. No, yeah, what worries. about you? <laughs> where are you going? Go to Peterson Dam. Ah, where are you from? Gladstone. Gladstone, oh, yeah. right, huh? Gee, that's a mighty looking thing. Is that a um, purpose built? Yeah, built in Germany. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, but both of them actually, both built in Germany. Right. Yeah, that's fantastic. And the little van's got a bed and a, yeah. probably a fridge as well, has it? That's a fridge on the front. Oh, right, huh? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, well, good luck and have a good trip. Yeah, same to you, mate. Yeah, well done. See good you later. See ya. <laughs> well, we're home. <laughs> it's 3.14 and the uh, odometer is showing a trail light error. The odometer is showing 5,897 kilometers. When we left, 
We're showing 839. 